Season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. To come out. Exclusively on the Parkville Network. Well, all right. Episode, whatever it is, take two. Um, uh, we don't have to do the, the whole intro again, do we? Kinda. Yeah. We're gonna well, use just that, in case, we? I don't. I want to use it maybe as something special. Okay. I have something in mind. Uh, she's the queen of team quarantine or coach or whatever we said before. Oh, Heidi you said the coach. And the queen? soon to be curator of sloppymoms.com. And that's yes. Heidi Woodard is with yes. us. Yes. Hello. From quarantine. No, hello. Very hello. nice. Coming to us live from my bedroom. The bedroom. For, this is our second take on this. First one, her microphone, it, like halfway through talking, it sounded like you dripped something in it, like either syrup or milk or something. And it just got all I terrible. thought a pancake fell on it. Maybe it did laying, <laughs> laying in her bed yeah. eating pancakes. <laughs> but now it well, sounds wonderful. This uh, soon to be mid 40s. Ryan uh, is turning another age older this weekend. And. <laughs> I had reminded him, like, he, he announced what age he was. And I was like, that is old. And he said, you're going to be there in December. Because he always turns in April and then me in December. Same age. Oh, my but God. It's old. Like, I'm like, what <laughs> is going on? I mean, at least we're not Pat's age, I guess. But. Right. I mean, right? at least you're not 46. The option, you yeah. know, I mean, the alternative is really bad. So yeah. we're hitting the big four, four this year. All right. There, there is that curve, though. I've noticed I've looked at pictures of myself um, two years ago to now. And there's that where it's like the cliff. I must have fallen off the cliff because I've aged a lot <laughs> in the last in the last. Not only have I put on some LBs, vests are tight that weren't. Oh. But just like in general, it's like it's 44 is like probably your last really good year. Oh, right? come on, man. I'm just oh, saying. Man. I'm Don't, just saying. I, come on. You'll bounce I back. I felt like I was slipping down the mountain because I distinctly remember. I've got a terrible memory, but there are certain things that stand out. And I was, you know, fresh out of college when I first started working at Blue Cross and Blue Shield years and years ago. And I had an internship and then I had like my first full time gig and it was in a different department than the internship was in. They didn't have a full time position when my internship wrapped up. But fortunately, another another uh, area did. And of course, it was just, you know, an entry position. And I was working for a guy who, to this day, like one of my favorite bosses ever. And he was I, it's just funny because you look back and you're like, oh, I got really lucky. Like my first full time gig boss was actually a really decent guy. But I remember he would just like, you know, God bless him. He was so patient because you can only imagine like, I mean, you guys know, well, you knew 30, late 30s, early 40s, Heidi. But like, can you imagine like me in my twenties, like all my ideas <laughs> no. <that laughs> no, were I can't. not corporately approved in any way, shape, or form? You know, it's like you come out of college and you're like, but I have a portfolio. Yes. Like I I can I can change the whole trajectory of your strategic planning. <laughs> and I'm sure they're just like, What happened? Like yeah. luckily I nailed the interview because then it was like it all came out with, you know, all the all my great ideas. So he, at one point I remember being in his office and him just saying like, oh man, I just, something about turning 40, it just all the wheels, the wheels all come off. And at that point I was so far away from it. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, my wheels will never come off. I mean, I play, you know, softball. He was a college athlete. I'm in such great shape. Yeah. I forget like, as you age, you don't do any of that. Like the kids come in, the dog comes in you know, the husband and you, you're both freaking tired. Like, yeah. So yeah, the wheels do come off because you literally spent all of your good years doing everything, doing all the things because the world just revolves around your act, you know, activity calendar. Yeah. It's, that's it's why I don't get when people have babies like in their forties, like forties and fifties and they're having babies. Like, how do yeah. you do that? How do you, how do you, do what, that. A like good friend second, of mine, she had second babies, third her, babies. Was it twins or she just had one? But she was 45. I don't know how they do it. She uh, just, yeah, she'd had. Yeah, I can't I even like, imagine having a one-year-old right now. Right? I and then, well, then you look at all, was it Alec Baldwin? He's about ready to have baby number six with well, yeah, Hilaria. With all their nannies. I with could, all their nannies. I, mean, <laughs> I, could, I, could, I, could, I could maybe have a one-year-old with a team of nannies and chefs <laughs> and stuff. I maybe. feel like. Oh my God. Can you imagine like between Pat and I, who gets the call first? Oh. You're going to be a grandma or grandpa. All oh, right. I'll lose my mind. No, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nope, nope, I'm not. Uh-uh. Nope. Put no. it back. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. Oh, so so are you going to, are you going to be grandparents? Oh I my know. God. Going to uh, be grandma. You're going to be Grammy. It's crazy. I have, I have some friends though, that a girl that was younger yeah. than me in high school who is, um, who's a grandma already. Yeah. 
So it's 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 just uh, weird, and they she looks well, great. You figure that some of the some of the kids that you know when I was in high school, okay, they graduated, they got married right out of high school, and they had yep. kids. So they were like 21, 22 when they had their kids, and now their kids, you know, they're they're their yeah their kids are having babies, and yeah. so they they have several grandkids, and it's like oh, and they had them definitely in their early forties. They were grandpa. Yeah, no, I've, I've told Owen, go off and get an education and don't be bringing anything else home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. No, I know. I know. Does uh, Do you think Ryan has low T? <laughs> <laughs> when you say low T, are you talking about testosterone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I... How, I mean, other than the obvious, what are some other ways to measure low T? Uh, um, just lower energy, harder. Tired. To, no, he's tired. freaking bouncing off okay, the wall. Okay, so has he yeah. tried to lose weight and not lose weight? Yes. But okay. he, he literally is like my fourth child. Like, okay. <laughs> nonstop energy. And I will give him credit when he like sets his mind to like the healthy eating thing. He blows me out of the water in that regard. Yeah. I cannot mm-hmm. do the you know, you know what, chicken though? salads. Guys get guys get though that that instant gratification too, because they lose weight easier. Yeah, that is very correct. Mm-hmm. And so yes. that keeps you on track. Sure. If I could get that yeah. kind of uh inspiration, say, Whoa, day one and look at what I just did and wake up the next day and I've already lost three pounds, you know, and mm-hmm. it's like I'd stay on it yeah. too. But you got to yeah. wait for a week to see a pound go away. Yeah. Like with and me- that's me- just, let with- me go pee and I bet you I'll weigh less. With- with- yeah, right. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping yeah. one of these days I'm going to go take my blood test and it's, my T's actually going to be low. Right now it's in the normal range. Oh, but so you I, have no excuse? I would That's exactly <laughs> my point. That's why I keep asking. I have no excuse. But then, but then you go to the right, you go to the right. And I say the right place because uh-huh. your normal, I don't have a baseline. Like my normal range could be up higher than normal and it's just getting low lower. for you? Yeah. Cause yeah. I'm so I make you go get some tea Yeah. after the tea clinics open. Good too, Pat. Like, ah. I've, I've gone that route. Maybe my thyroid. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe it's yeah. 2,800 calories right? I eat every day. I didn't I have know. that checked when I was 20. Everything was fine with that. How do I know? Maybe I was just like off the charts when I was 20. Look, my excuse is that all my kids were via C-section and that muscle pattern does not ever go back to normal. No. Ever. <laughs> they just cut it open, rip the baby out, and there you go. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed your body when you had it. That's it. Yeah. And and yeah like, yeah, like that's absolutely 100%. Mm-hmm. And we should never think that we're going to get the, our, our same bodies we had in our 20s and 30s. But I'm telling I you, know. nobody prepared me for 46 body. <laughs> My ass is gone. It is like literally, it is gone. Well, that happens to the, I can confirm that happens to the ladies too. It's crazy town. It is. It's like, this is not, this is not normal. Why? why? I've never done this before. Why now? Why now? Well, we've got a, I mean, you know, everything's up in the air at this point, but we have a big family, all of Ryan's side vacation going to Florida in August. You know, if if everything. Yeah. And I just keep thinking, like, you know, I, I should be using this time to run more and to, yeah. you know, I, I've got a path right outside of my house. Like, oh my I could look less gross by <laughs> August if I tried. I'm never going to be like, I can't wait to whip out that bikini. I, I, I have never no said that in my entire life. Shape or form. Never, ever have I said oh, that in my entire the life. The bikini days were great. No. You should have. No. You should have. And, and when I was in my in my my best days, hanging out at a pool was not my thing. That The, the water, oh, yeah. the beach, none of that was my thing. I was riding horses, right? right? So right. I was never, yeah. that was when I was like peak Jill. Yeah. <laughs> It's well, called Payday it's Jill. Like, what, so all the women out there who are of any height whatsoever, taller height, can relate to this. Now I'm in that stage of like, what is the least muffin revealing tankini? Yes. Versus Blouse and tops. A one piece. Like I would love to just do a nice classy one piece, but it ends up being so stretched because I'm tall. <laughs> like my, my, you know, long torso is. Even though my gut is wide, it is also tall. And so I have to like figure out what, you know, and I'm not going to like high end. Right. I know that shocks you. (laughs) You're not going to lululemonswimming.com? No. Because people are like, same with those damn yoga pants, you know. Oh, your butt could look so good. And I'm like, I can't get over the fact what you spend on these things. Like I 
I know. I can have five like Jimmy John's, <laughs> three Paneras. In my mind, I start doing. What could I have for that amount of money? Right. I'm always going to choose the food. There is. There is. No, I can't imagine how that Lululemon pants are comfortable enough to spend 115 dollars on one pair of yoga mm. pants when you go to Walmart mm. and you can buy 11 pair for that. No. Right. Yeah. I just. I don't get it. I don't know. There's a lot of women shaking their head. They. They. They understand that I don't get it. But yeah. Maybe if you're like like an ultra pro yoga person, it makes a difference Maybe. or whatever. I don't know. Like pro Danica stuff. Patrick. Right. Or yeah, something. <laughs> so do it. if <laughs> the August trip works out, uh-huh. I'll have to send, send us, not to be released to any listeners, <laughs> but just to you two, mm-hmm. a slow-mo beach running yes! Yes, video. Oh my God. Okay, so before you go on legit like a trip like this, I know bikini, whatever, doesn't matter. But because I we Beth and I do this to before we make go on a trip okay uh it's nine nine 90 days out we need to really start buckling down and start eating <laughs> then it's like oh crap it's six 60 days all right this is what we can still do it let's do this 30 days out it's like we gotta really it's intermittent fasting it's no. all veggie the week before it's like f it <laughs> i don't care yeah. we're done yep. this is vacation yep. for a reason every single there's time a difference level there's a difference level in trip taking because like if it was just ryan and i going to jamaica or mexico like he still thinks I look good. God bless him. Yeah, so, that's you know, great. That's sweet. I can wear a bikini because he's just like, yes. <laughs> and, but if it's like with family and, you know, potentially I'll see people at the holidays. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> I have to have a respectable amount of covering. <laughs> yeah. And, I got, uh, and Ryan seems like a, a really nice person. And <laughs> on our first is. on our first take of this podcast, he called you in the middle and he was sweet enough to ask if you needed anything at the store. And I just got to be Correct. honest with you. Just I, it, you sounded a little uh, agitated <laughs> and you sounded a little aggressive towards him. And he was being sweet. No, you're interrupting. In quarantine. He, no, no. he did. He it was. I think Listen. the quote, the phrase was, uh, did you need something? Yeah. Cause I'm getting ready to do a podcast. And you go, no, uh, I have, I'm fine. No, I have two character witnesses that will back me on this. Okay. Okay. One is Miss Melissa. Who all yes. these former Pat and JT listeners will know. Yes. From back in the day, my co-blogger, Melissa, sat in the same general workspace as me for at least, I'd say, a good eight to ten months. And she used to pull the same crap. Like, oh, you're just so lucky. Like, I mean, Ryan doesn't call me. Like, you're – because her husband's also Ryan. And then she sat next to me and got to just really? understand the sheer level of – quantity of calls <laughs> my second character witness will be my mother-in-law because she also receives calls from her beloved son oh my god just at random hours of the day so yeah. pat you are absolutely correct <laughs> that he is one of the sweetest most caring protective men i've ever known he is also my fourth child yeah and so just there's there's an evening out there. And, and especially now it's like this the quarantining he's it seems like he's really trying to soften the edges a little bit help out where he can i t- said this on did i say this mm-hmm. on a podcast yesterday or said whatever if i'm telling giving something from another podcast we've recorded i'm all screwed up whatever but the other, <laughs> last night we were standing in the kitchen and the th- uh, the whole all four of us were in there and beth was standing behind me and the kids and i were at the table and there was no not really on edge but just there's a little tension just because everybody's been around each other and i said you know guys if this quarantine goes on much longer i have a feeling there's going to be a triple homicide suicide situation going on and best like <laughs> she stopped eating her apple and she goes oh i won't kill myself <laughs> so it, it, it could be worse yeah it could be worse she can relate yeah right? can relate. yeah totally yeah. Totally. So, so let's just get to it. I know you guys are supposed to be the ones answer, asking the questions, but <laughs> I was talk, are talking we? about how great Ryan was and he's been cooking dinner every night and we gather around the table, which led to 21st century trivia night. Oh my God. And, and I'll just, I'll just end there and you can ask the question. It was so I, I saw the post and I know that you, <laughs> you had a gotcha moment on him a couple weeks yes. ago. Yes. And had posted all the questions that he got incorrect. So is this, a, is this like a game or an app you play on like 21st century trivia? Like a, it's, it's like it's a game and it's just cards. It's uh, like, there's okay. no board. It's not like, like the old school trivia where you have the pie pieces. It, yeah. It's just like, cards. Okay. It's just, yeah. So, so you got the cards with the questions. Got it. So she posted the, the card which had the questions that he missed, missed, missed. You know, it's like, okay. can you, are you kidding me? All this. He doesn't know any of these. Hilarious. Things. So then he posted this last week. And I don't even remember what exactly the question was. All I know is it required you to name a city in Italy. Yes. And you answered immediately. Because you knew it. 
Paris. Paris. <laughs> It was one of those where it came out and you like couldn't get it back in time, you know. And is it one of the like, games no, no, where that. it's first it's, answer? It's like your him. your first answer is that you can't say pair it, like think it out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Paris. I had a mojito, and my <laughs> boys. I mean, they all like all three of them. <laughs> Are you so dumb? <laughs> you, what? You did not just say that. Guys, I I win very few trivia nights. I don't know if I think I've won one. That's funny, yeah, but he but he in return he did give you a gift also, didn't he? As far as not knowing who somebody <laughs> very famous was. Yes, yes. What was the question? Um, it was the like I think it was who did Kim Kardashian call her biggest bully, uh, famous celebrity blogger? Like the whole question started off like the famous. Famous celebrity blogger. It's the only one I know. Called. Right. Right. And I'm like, how many celebrity bloggers? You know, so I'm looking at him. I'm like, kind of like Paris. <laughs> and he's just like, that doesn't help me. He didn't know. Kind of like Paris. Oh, my God. It's Perez Hilton. How do you not know that? <laughs> oh, my God. Had he, ever, so. had he ever heard of Perez Hilton before? No. No how idea. Can I, I, don't, I can't imagine that he, that's in his follows on Twitter, though. Like, like a, he's more sports than entertainment, though. You know? Correct. It's yeah. like pop Correct. culture has to be have a sports angle to it if it's pop culture. Probably for him. Well, yeah, because the, the categories, there's five categories. Music, movies, TV shows, in the news, and I always forget the fifth one, but I'll think of it. Okay. Can I say movies? Yeah. Yeah. TV yeah. shows and one it. more. Okay. okay. Um, oh, sports. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's the one he always gets right off the bat. <laughs> and I leave sports. Like, people are like, you you were an athlete at one point. I'm like, I don't know jack about sports. <laughs> I, that will always be my, well, if geography was a category, that for sure would be my last category. But I think. <laughs> I think sports is a close second. So whatever. This question about Paris, Italy came up and in the news or something. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. So dumb. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. Did yeah. you do any research to see if there actually was a Paris, Italy? There's not. Because there's an Omaha, <laughs> yeah, Texas. But... There's a Paris, Tennessee. You know, there's there could a, there's be. There's a Paris, one... Texas. And is there a Paris, Someone Texas also? posted on that same Facebook um, comment section that like an old map. Right, old. Yonder. <laughs> Yonder year mm-hmm. showed show it part of he, he said Italy that used to own France. Is that what you're map. trying to say? Italy owned France for a while. I don't know. Like, yeah. like even to understand the map, I'm like, yeah, that's funny. He's trying to back me up. I don't understand. Uh, it, but that's awesome. I can't follow maps. <laughs> oh my if god! Google doesn't tell me where I'm going. But, right. Oh my god. Yeah. So okay, so we were talking. Uh, actually, it was on yesterday's podcast that you talked about that. Okay. We talked about this too on yesterday's podcast. They were talking about just sports in general. How okay, this whole quarantine thing and the possibility that there won't be sports this fall has that has that been discussed by by the coach? Um <laughs> a little, a little. You're saying by just how it impacts our family or yeah. just by like watching oh. Yeah, I mean if it rolls into football, that'll be pretty tragic for sure. Summer was already a punch to the gut. Yeah. Um, you know, and the spring the spring sports, the baseball, and then you know, I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be a leader of young ladies. They're going without Coach Heidi. For exactly. Their right now. Right. They're probably doing private lessons and getting like 10 times better than if they <laughs> had me guiding them. You should start doing Zoom coaches. <laughs> Zoom Seriously. coaching sessions. Heidi's quarantine Wait, clinic. So quarantine we've clinic. Done, <laughs> we've done a Zoom call with our little girls, and we've oh. also done a separate Zoom happy hour with just the parents. Very and nice. Both were very well attended. Very nice. That's right. Yeah, because yeah, softball – should be you should be hitting all the all the ballparks. Yeah, we would have started in late March. Wow. Actually, our very first scrimmage. Oh, they had to be so, so disappointed. They were. Yeah, I mean it's just sad, it, and probably more so just not seeing each other. You yeah. know, like of course they all want to play. They want to be outside and being active, but just that. I mean, I keep coming back to like being a kid of this, like not knowing the last day that you saw your friends was the last day you were going to see your friends That's for weird, however yeah. long. Yeah, that's just, just social around. interaction. I mean, for adults too, that's what we were talking about this last week. I, I do, I feel bad for the I feel bad for the kids. They FaceTime all the time, whatever, but just being around each other and going doing things as groups and all that, whether it's sports or just hanging out, I, it sucks. And I can tell that yep. it's starting to get yep. to them. <laughs> have you used Marco Polo? Have I guys, have I asked you that? Um, I have, I've used it. A, it was a long, long time ago, but is it fun? Because it's like old, it's like old. And I'm, I'm like yeah. just getting into it now, which is very typical for the course. <laughs> Um, 
par for the course, I should say. Yes, I, uh, I'm getting into Marco Polo and I've caught up with a few people. It's pretty fun. Have you heard of it? Joe? Nope, have not. It's, so it's like virtual walkie talkie. You just start, you record, you send, and there are no edits. So, you know, and it's video, right? Naked, yeah. Naked somebody or other walks behind you. It's on. It's like, you can't get it back. Yeah. Ah! You so, can't. Yeah. You, it's, it's fun. <gasps> oh yeah, my and, God. And you can't filter. Like it's like the most real life, real world. This is what I'm doing right now. It's pretty cool. I use it when I'm on my walks. It's my old lady oh, walks. Okay. I catch up with people that way. So yeah, if you're interested, <laughs> I, I mean, might I check know, it out. I know Twitter's your jam, but you might I want know. to try Marco Polo for like a month. <laughs> All right, I might. I will do that. I'll do it. All right, I'll, I'll check it hey, out. And thanks for the invite to your um, adult happy hour Zoom happy hours. We appreciate that very much. Well, this is for the that was softball, a softball parents. parents. You want to just crash that? I mean, you well, you always inter- include me in your texts about bats. So <laughs> why not just include me in the happy hour? I want to meet this you other. You are pat. my second Pat. Wrong Pat. Yeah. He's with my assistant coach Pat. Yeah, he should he's have him in there instead it. of Pat. It should just say wrong Pat. Wrong Pat. Yeah, <laughs> not this Pat. Yes. Wrong Pat. Kind of like yeah. when somebody has an X and they put the, don't, don't answer. answer. This. What you guys need to go to is my colleague, uh, friend, and colleague Kayla Thomas is a uh, on her side hustle a music bingo host, and so a few nights back she did music bingo with us. Yep. Um, now that's fun. <laughs> plays a bunch of songs and you print out your sheets ahead of time and you fill them out and she awarded us Amazon gift card. Oh what? my Amazon god. Amazon gift card for winning. That's great. Yeah. Did you do cool? good? Well, no. I was like <laughs> I I answered the last random trivia. She just threw out a, like a random song and whoever was the first to name the title and artist won. No, we had already done a traditional bing- bingo, a um crisscross X bingo. And a blackout bingo. I had lost all of those. <laughs> and so I got the gift card for um, Ashley Tisdale Pieces of You. I knew that song. Oh, oh my God. Great song, by the yeah. way. Wow. I asked if she wanted me to hoe down at the end of it. But yeah. She took me up on that offer. <laughs> those are all great ideas. I know a lot of people are just trying to think of other ways to entertain themselves, you know, and, yes. and, and especially any, any kind of interaction. Um, is going to be good if you haven't had any personally though. I mean, I've like, as they say, I've been like preparing for this all my life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm so in my element right now. Like, oh, see now y'all here see, now this is how here. you do it, man. This is it. Power yeah, through. How is it going to be for all the introverts to go back to the real world? Will that just like put you over the edge? Right. It's I, honestly, I am getting to the point where, and, and I had this conversation actually a few days ago, driving anywhere in this town is a cakewalk right now like taking jack to doggy daycare which he still goes to um you're gonna forget what rush hour is like uh like, seriously yeah like pulling out I, i'm off of 144th street and looking to my left and there's no cars coming it's eerie yeah it's it it really is it's just and there it's kind of like seeing people when they post those pictures of even bigger cities there was a great picture that was posted of um the interstate going through north and south through phoenix empty I'm like, that's, that's crazy. crazy. It's like six lanes wide. That's nuts. And, uh, you know, in California and, and all these other, you see those pictures and it's just, it's just crazy that, that literally everybody is pretty much staying home. We're, pretty and much. we're all going to yeah. be, we are all going to be like the preacher's daughter freshman year of college when this whole thing's over. And we are just going <laughs> to just tear it up, tear <laughs> it up. and every, people are going to be walking home drunk. I, I mean, wonder, it's just going to be a disaster. Tell you. That, like well, they said dead. that the alcohol sales have been huge, but then everybody's yeah. home all day. It's not like I got to get up early. Right. Gotta, <laughs> yeah. Alcohol sales at the store. Happy hours with a, with a pop. Right. Yeah, I, mean, I need right? something a little stronger. Like that's um, stupid. Yeah, I just feel like there's a window that it's like pure utopia for some introverts, though. I mean, yeah. outside of like being inconvenienced that you can't potentially get all of your stuff when you want it. Right. I just, I don't know. Everybody was like checking in on me and like, how how are you? Like, and I'm like, well, I'm I'm what we describe as a we the experts describe <laughs> as a um, extroverted introvert so i like to see people i like to go to the parties and have fun and mm-hmm. catch up but then i just need like a downtime in my own home in my own room seriously i charge i get that 100 percent because yeah. i'm right there with you i do i enjoy going to do things but i have no problem being by myself and right. and i need it it's like a, it's like a, a i really appreciate it just to have some downtime and quiet time 
Um, but yeah, yeah I think it's going to be hard for people. Pat, you've got to be like stir crazy. Like I think Ryan is more, um, not that he's a huge extrovert, but he likes being out, you know, he mm-hmm. likes being able to go where he wants and he's following all the rules. I mean, I think it's hard on him to just yeah. be, I miss isolated. going, I, I miss going to the gym. I miss the interaction. I miss the, um, Beth and I would always go t- t- and just just go to stores and just look for stupid stuff or find you know just going and doing that kind of thing you just can't do it anymore like my clearance runs at target where i lived for those things i love so much fun <laughs> like go to the end caps and try to find some great deal i know that sounds like the dumbest thing ever but it was so we, it was though. it was so much fun and go and we met meet tina she works at the target up here and we met her and now i haven't seen me tina in a long time and oh. i like finding good deals on big huge tubes of Oh hamburger my, it's it oh my see God. all those things are I just, gone i knew your your um habit of just wandering aisles back when you talked about the walgreens days like yeah I'm like, who goes to walgreens oh my god fun? speaking yeah. of which i had to go to a walgreens this week mm-hmm. and they have this po the the stickers on the floor so six feet between you um and unfortunately they had somebody with a lot of coupons uh. who was checking out mm. and there was six of us in line so 36 feet of customers <laughs> spread out <laughs> and around oh. the corner and down the aisle. And I was number four. Oh, <laughs> and, lovely. and then I'd hear, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have a coupon for that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I had a coupon for, oh, no, I didn't want that one. Can we put that one no. back and I'll get this one? Nope. And there was only one cashier. And I was uh, like, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah. But I have to get what I'm here for. How did I pick this Walgreens today? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> That's the, the absolute And everybody worst. had, like me, everybody had like two or three things. I mean, it was just like they, they needed these things. They came and got the things they needed. They're standing there holding them in their hands. It's not like you go in with a basket and they were just browsing. They just wanted to go in, grab, and get out. And so that's when you that's when you miss the self checkout. Yes. Oh God, <laughs> self check all the day. And self check is great. I love the self check, especially when it's the the whole you know Corona time because you aren't standing in line and you aren't having to talk to somebody and, and they're nervous, you know, they're trying to keep their distance right. as well. And you've got, I told them the other day, I went to the gas station and they literally had an employee waiting for people that when they got done at the pump, they'd go clean the handle and send them oh, on their way. Nice. And I was like, that makes me feel really good. I'll come back here again. This is, this is good, yep. but it is, it's, it's yeah, even really when weird. I go to the self checkouts, I'm now pushing buttons with my, um, knocker knuckles. Yes. Like that's how I push buttons. <laughs> so if everybody's doing that, I mean, I guess we're all still just exchanging germs, but I try not to press with my fingertips. I know. I know. Yeah. And then get back in and grab the bottle and it's slather right. up and yes. ready to yes. go. Wipe it on the, yeah. <laughs> on the steering wheel and let's rock. Right. <laughs> Yep. Well, Heidi, you look you look well. Yes. You look you oh, look well. You, thank you. Yeah. Have you been I going? mean, I'm still I'm still 43. That's why I, this is the last year. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we'll see what we yeah. think next January. Um, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, coming off the winter months, I'm very very pale. Very you get you crazy. are getting chances to go out for a walk, so with Coco. Yes. Right. Well, mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. I go out for my walks. <laughs> okay. Which are. Sands Coco. And then I tend to take her to maybe like a little open park. Um, I shouldn't say park. Ah, illegal. Like, a, like an open space that we were able to throw a ball. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what she does. She just runs, 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 fetches, runs, runs, runs. And I, I put something on Facebook. You guys need to check out. Uh, JC helped Ryan with a um, slow down video of her catching her ball with the Miley Cyrus's wrecking ball. Oh, that's background. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking a minute out and hanging out on your bed and talking to well, us. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate you enjoy it. Enjoy the heck out of this weekend, man. Oh, we will. We'll do. Good to fun. see you. Yeah. That's for sure. All right. All right. See you, Heidi. Thank right. you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Uh, always great catching up with her. Not hard since she's quarantined. She can't get away from us. She can't. <laughs> we can Zoom every single day. Um, thanks for listening to our podcast. Yeah.